you guys. Let's pray for the others. Good evening. Good evening, Jose. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Suyapa. Hi, teacher. Hi, Alejandra. Good evening. Good evening. Let's see. Diego. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Álvaro. Let's wait some minutes, okay? Hello? No sé, que son bastantes ustedes para empezar de lleno. Quiero ver si ya está Dinora, toda, Dinora Morena todavía no, ¿verdad? Hola, hola, buenas noches. Mario, hola. Mario, por qué es el camino? Um, sí, pero solo ahí este, todavía continúo en San Roque, todavía no he llegado a mi casa, así que... Eh, Aquí voy a estar pendiente de la clase y si es necesario participar, pues aquí voy a estar pendiente, pero así no voy a poder activar la cámara. Voy a tratar de tener el celular guardado. Ok, thank you. Bye. Ok, guys. Hello, guys. How are you today? Okay, let's start. Guys, uh, what do you remember about your childhood? ¿Qué recuerdan de su niñez? For example, just tell me some keywords. Díganme algunas palabras. What do you remember? Food? Nachos preparados, right? Teacher, me. Uh -huh. Tell me. Uh, lo voy a decir en español. <laughs> Okay. <risas> Lo que yo recuerdo es que tengo una cicatriz cerca de mi ojo, porque 
bueno, allá en casa donde vivía antes, donde estaba pequeño, monté un cerdo y el cerdo me metió un barranco. Ese es mi mayor recuerdo de mi niñez. Es por eso que tengo esa cicatriz. No sé dónde me, me puse hiriendo, pero sí, créame que se recuerda un no, sino que ya. Qué salvaje, Vladimir. Thank you. What else? Who else? Hello, teacher. Hello. For example, some cartoons were better than the cartoons that yeah. we watch on the TV right now. Yes. Which cartoons do you remember? Uh, for example, Sailor Moon, mm -hmm. Scooby-Doo. Yes, we do. Um, I remember. Los the chicos del barrio. Los Simpsons. ¿Cuál es esa? What is that? What is that? Los chicos del barrio. Try and be. Kids, kids. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Um, well, the, the main characters are alias as numbers. Uh, for example, number one, number two, number three, number four, number five. Mm. And this organization is, is trying to make up, well, I don't know. <laughs> I don't remember, to be honest. Okay, thank you, Maria. What else do you remember? Hey, teacher. Uh -huh, hello, tell me. Let me. <laughs> Uh -huh. Okay, well, well, teacher, when I was a child, I remember that I like to climb trees. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, I like to go uh, a, ri a river uh, near of my grandmother. And also I like, uh, <laughs> I like to eat, um, I like to eat a pan, mm -hmm. a pan dulce con café <laughs> in the in the afternoon with, with, with my grandfather. Excellent. Thank you, Silvia. Who else? Quien más? Me. Alejandra, después va. Sorry. Uh -huh. Ladies first. Yeah. I remember the movie uh, Jurassic Park, number one. <laughs> uh -huh. The movie Jurassic Park, uh -huh. number one, is my favorite. Ah, the first one, right? How many are there? Oof. Three, uh, three years, more or less. Yes, excellent Jurassic Park. Yes, I remember that. Who else? Uh, me, teacher. And, eh, y luego Nora, okay? Okay, um, I remember the video games played Super Nintendo, Super Mario. Did you hear me? Yes. Okay, um, that's it. <laughs> Excellent, thank you, Jose. Okay. Okay. Okay, Tati. Nora. Um. Yes. Um. As far as I recall, um, I used to play with my best friends. Um. Uh, we tried the um, cartoon. Or a series, and for example, <laughs> I will try imit imitating um, um, Shitara. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like a uh, Thundercat. The Thundercat, yes. Excellent. <laughs> and Thank you. I, I remember Mango Cumbia. Eh, jalapeños preparados justo en la gastritis de ahora nachos eh, chocobananos o, I don't know ¿cómo se dicen? ¿dónde ustedes viven? chocobananos, topoillos que creo que en algunos lugares le dicen charamuca y no sé qué otro 
pero aquí en Santana es, es Topoíos, Los Rocanieves, I remember a lot of food. <laughs> Ajá, Álvaro. Good evening. I remember, I remember the, the movies, uh, Robocop 1 mm -hmm. and 2, yes. and but so remember I play soccer with my father in the football field. Excellent. Yes. Thank you. Jamie first, Jamie Ramos, and then mm -hmm. Mario. Good evening. Good evening. I remember um, so uh, lyric music. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> remember go to house mother ma, ma, uh, grandmother mm -hmm. um so brave excellent mario okay actually in my case i remember when i was a child uh, i am playing uh, soccer with my friends i watched TV series as uh, anime as uh, let me see Samurai X, uh, Shaman King as uh, Digimon, and I remember too the Rotanieve. I love that. Mm. For me, for me, Rotanieve is the most amazing. Um, I hold, I don't know. <laughs> uh, and let me see about about Sodas. I remember and I love it. Uh, apple tropical soda. Uh, uh, did, did you remember that? The tropical uh, apple and jengibre? Yes, crema soda, right? Yeah. Crema soda, jengibre. Uh, y... manzana, apple. Apple tropical soda. Uh -huh. And that's all. Excellent, thank you. <clears throat> Who else? We are talking about childhood, guys. Hello, good evening. Hello, Diego. Good evening. Uh, well, when I was a kid, and uh, I used to play with my neighbors, uh, little games like the school, mm -hmm. uh, or play video games. I remember that we play uh, Mario Kart mm -hmm. uh, for Nintendo Wii, but at the end they moved to another place and I don't remember where uh, they moved, but uh, basically that was the end of the friendship, but it was a really good time. And I remember that my grandmother come to my home to take care of me and my sister. And that is one of the best moments of my life because I really love when uh, my grandmother was here in, in this house. Uh, she's alive right now, but I she's not with us in this house. But it was a it was a really good moment. Excellent, thank you, guys. Did you did you play the uh, eh, ¿Cómo se llamaba? Arranca cebolla, no? Yeah. Yes, that's right. Arranca cebolla. Ahora va ocasiosa chuca. No, no, no. Oh. No. Eh, tántaro. I don't, I don't know. Ese si, si se llama igual, pues. Tántaro es cuando tirabas la pelota y, y te ibas a esconder y uno la iba a traer. Era como escondelero, solo que se tiraba la pelota. Ese, ese era el más llamado tentarro. Tentarro, yeah. Ajá, aquí, o sea, aquí yo lo conozco como tanta. Ajá, entonces, a saber cómo se llama, ¿verdad? Nos valíamos de la tusquia. La tusquia, ajá, la tusquia, la mita. Pero ahora hablemos de deudas. Let's see, ¿quién me levantó la manita? No veo, me la bajaron. Let's 
Ted sih, Fermi. Hmm. Oke, okay, thank you. Don't worry, este, Silvia. Aha. Lilian? I cannot hear you well. Sorry. I don't know what happened. No sé, ¿por qué no se escucha bien? Eh, the colors, the plant too. Uh -huh. Do you remember this plate? Mm, the name? The plants and the colors. No, no, I don't remember that. <laughs> okay. I remember. Let's see. Plants like a zombie. No, no, right? No. No. The um, varita de listón or? No, no, no. Okay. I don't remember that. Well, How old are you? That game, hmm? uh, in Spanish, that, that, that game is called, uh, let me see, listones y colores. No. I don't know. Entonces, no, ese sí no. No, yo me acuerdo de... Uno decía, bueno, yo no sé, pero yo en mi, en mi, en mi cantón, el cuilio y ladrón decía uno. No, no sé si ustedes lo escucharon, pero por lo menos en Santa Ana sí le llamamos el policía y el ladrón. ¿Se acuerdan de ese? Yes. Cuilio y ladrón. Yes. El otro es el congelado. Yes. Um, Doña yes. Ana. Doña Ana o, o, o Don Llano también, que es el que, el que Don Llano no está aquí, estará en su vergel y, y salía a asustar Don, Don Llano y así. Ese era así como genial, como de, de la lleva que el que decimos, ¿verdad? Nice guys. Hello, my name is Nabur. Ok, thank you, Lourdes. Who else? Alguien más? Teacher. Ajá, soy Apa. In my case, I remember play John Rob and other thing right at first. And I like it, Charamusca. Yes, delicious. Charamusca, Guineo, Charamusca, strawberry with, with milk, choco sandía. Choco melón, de todo el choco, right? You remember that? Los bolis. Ok, guys. Los fruxis. Los fruxis. Los. Lupis. Los que traían, los glupis. Los que traían la pajilla adentro. ¿Cómo se llamaban los? No el los. Esos son finos, los otros. Delipop. Delipop. Los delipop. Oh. Mm. Sí, I remember that. Los totis también. Los pixis. Los pixis, ajá. Y los chacaleles. Eso sí, no sé cuáles son. Bueno. Bueno, diga, diga, pues, compadre. Ah, ok. Es que era, eran unas rueditas que de hecho venían con los pixis. Unas rueditas que usted le ponía un hilito en medio y lo los, los estiraba y lo hacía zumbar. Mm -hmm. I remember Más that. Menos. Sí, ¿verdad? Yes. Que venían en la punta del pixi. Ah, yo ah. Los joyos, trompos, dice. Yo jugaba viejita pícara, esconde el anillo también. Las chintas, la, la caja, los trompos, las chibolas. Yes, yes, guys. Pelegrina. ¿Cuál es esa? Pelegrina es when you um, draw a uh, imagen as a, as a body. But it's a square. And you jump square by square. Ah, oh, okay. Uh -huh. okay. You throw a, a coin. If the coin falls out of the square, you are out. You lost. El avioncito, like, right? Exactly. Yeah, ve que se llaman diferente. Let's see. Um, el billetillo, these billetillos. Eh, también estaba la lotería. Mario? 
Well, I, I, I don't know what's the correct, the, the correct way to say this in English, but I will say in Spanish. Uh -huh. uh, do you remember que acerca de los Tutsi, cuando uno para tomarse lo mordió la parte de abajo, en vez de quitarle la, la tapita? Yes, I remember that, of course. Era genial andarlo con la, así, ¿va? con la, la, la tapita abajo. era lo más bien ocupada para ponerle una vejiga y ocuparla como la famosa cachaplaca, si sí. se recuerdan. En la bicicleta, ¿verdad? No, también la cacha en placa. La cacha en placa era ¿Y eh, es? la, par eh, la, parte, la, la parte del tapón del plus y yo no le ponía una vejiga. Ya con eso podía servir como repostera. Ah. Ah, sí, sí, era más en el pasaje nos agarramos a guerra con esas cosas. Allá a tirarnos eh, hasta piedritas, chibolas. Y le metíamos chibolitas ahí ya, al que se descuidara y le cayera en cualquier parte. Esa era la gracia. Hmm. Let's try, guys. <coughs> okay. Let's Salta continue. Cuerdas. Hello? Salta cuerdas también. Salta cuerdas, yes. For the girls. El relilete, right? Ajá, perdón, la carrita. For the girls when play the jazz. <laughs> yes. Teacher. No? Play uh, trompo. Trompo, yes, enjoy. Capirucho. Capirucho. Another is um, when we play with uh, five guys and it's in uh, with uh, self holes. No, and another is and another is, uh, corner off. Uh, okay, and move. Uh, como vende aceite a la otra esquina. Así es. I don't know uh -huh. if you remember. Y el otro era la, el, el, el voleibol, softball, bate, bate le llamábamos nosotros, ¿no se acuerda de eso? Sí, ¿verdad? Ok, yes. okay guys. Kickball. Uh -huh. Remember, we were talking about childhood and we used the simple past uh -huh. to talk about childhood. Who knows uh, the structure of the simple, the simple past? ¿Quién lo sabe? Was and what? No. Uh, no. This is... The ruler? The bill. No, no. Diana? Okay, the simple past and subject and very fast and complement. Thank you. Alejandro? Um, we are at the final verb. Yes. 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 Is the, the, but this is the simple present, okay? It's okay, okay? When we have the person singular, we add S or ES to the verb at the end of the verb, but when we talk about simple present, but in the case of simple past, past, right? Affirmative is subject, verb in base form plus complement. No was and where. Why not? ¿Por qué no podemos utilizar was and where? Because it's a progressive verb. Is ready to be. Yes, because was and were is the past of the verb to be. Excellent. So when we talk about childhood and an event that passed before, we use simple past. And the structure is subject plus verb in past plus complex. Okay. Ahora con eso del, 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 de, de los derechos de autor está bien delicado YouTube, así que mejor creemos nuestro contenido, ¿ok? Remember, 
Kapje. Last. There in past. There. Last complement, right? Esa es la estructura. Structure. Yes, structure. And could you tell me an example? Uh, I saw a bird this morning. I saw a bird this morning. Yes. Mm -hmm. Another example? I took a nap. Hablaron dos como, perdón. Um, I ate banana yesterday. I ate bananas yesterday. Mm -hmm. I took a nap. I took a nap. You see? Easy, right? When we talk about the simple past in affirmative, we just use subject, verb in past, and complement, okay? Remember. And we said yesterday that we use, and we said yesterday that we use simple present when we talk about, uh-huh, when do some of simple present? When do we use simple present, guys? Cuando estamos ejecutando la acción. Yes. Yes, it's an action. But um, when? For example, with some situation that we did in the past. Mm -hmm. But in the case of simple present, is or simple past, yes. Pero cuando utilizamos el, 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 el simple. Simple present, present. simple past. Uh -huh. So, a simple present, when we use? El, do, do, o sea, como estamos hablando en general. Ya. ¿Cuándo lo utilizamos? Simple present and simple past. Okay, simple past we use when something happened in past. Mm -hmm. Okay, and simple present we use when... We oh uh, in real life or when we um we have habits routines in the moment. No Morena, no in the moment, okay. In the case of simple present or simple past, okay, we use it when we talk about routine but not in this moment, okay? Not in the moment, sino que es, digamos, algo que yo hago a diario y que okay. lo voy a utilizar en present, yes? For example, here. porque ya cuando yo le digo in, in the moment, no, porque in the moment ya otro tense que es presente progresivo. Entonces, okay. vamos a decir, yes? Entonces, vamos a decir simple present. We use it for daily routine, hobbies, as Morena said, likes, uh huh. When we talk about that, for example, something that I do every day, I take a shower. Take a shower. Take a shower. Yes. Yeah. I, brush I brush my teeth. Brush my teeth. Uh huh. I early. I. I get up early. Yes, I get up early. I do exercise every day. Yes, thank you. Uh -huh. What else? I assist uh, to my class. I assist to classes. Yes. What else? I go to the door. Hello? I work every day. I work every day. I work every day. Yes. I drive every day. I drive every day. Yes, I eat pupusas on Saturdays, for example. Let's say. Uh -huh. Or I eat tamales Saturday night. Mm -hmm. 
I check my cell phone. Mm -hmm. I use my cell phones every day, right? In every moment, guys. I watch TV. Por eso es que decíamos, I watched cartoons. Yes, watched cartoons. I played. I ate. Uh -huh. Because we were talking about routine. Hobbies. Yes. Teacher, this is a simple present. Simple present. Y por ende, simple past. Que es lo que estamos viendo, ¿verdad? Porque eso no se los había aclarado antes. Que lo utilizamos para simple, simple present or simple past. Lo único que cambia es el tense, que sería el tiempo. De lo contrario, se usan para lo mismo, ¿verdad? Uno es para el pasado y otro es para el presente. Routines, hobbies, and likes. Hello? Ok. Ok. Thank you. Ajá, uh -huh, remember. Again. ¿Cuál es la diferencia entre was, were, and simple past? Uno es el pasado de verbo to be. Verbo to be. ¿Y cuándo utilizo el verbo to be? Para hablar del cero. Gracias por llamar a Dish. Mi nombre es Morena. ¿Cómo le puedo ayudar el día de hoy? Ok. Morena está trabajando. Ok. Let's continue. Y todo el mundo quiere saber que está hablando Morena. No, ok. Remember, ver to be is for what? Cero, estar. ¿Y qué significa eso? Todo lo que tiene que ver con el ser. O sea, el ser, el ser humano, pues la persona. Y el estar, el estado mismo de la persona. ¿Y cómo así? For example, I am, I am tall, ¿verdad? Que es parte de un ser, de forma física, sí, yes, right. I'm tall, I am thin, I am fat, I am slim, I am brunette, I am curly, yes. What else? What about intellectual or let's say emotional? I am shy, I am sad. Yes, I'm parte friendly. de un estado, ¿verdad? I'm friendly. I'm friendly, yes. I'm hungry and angry. I'm yes. thirsty. Yes, esa es la diferencia. Entonces, solamente quiero aclararles eso. La diferencia es que el simple present yo lo utilizo para daily routine. Algo que hago a diario, algo que me gusta, algo que practico. Y en cambio el verbo to be es cuando hablo de mi persona en todo. ¿Sí? Ya sea en cuanto al ser o el estar. Estar en un lugar o estado, ¿verdad? Emocional. ¿Yes? O, por ejemplo, I'm married, I'm single. Eh, what else? I am, I am 20 years old. I am 5 years old. I am friendly. I am happy. I am angry. A eso se refiere, ¿ok? Entonces quiero que diferenci diferenciemos y que lo sepamos utilizar. But let's continue with simple past. As I told you, is we can use simple past when we talk about childhood, when we talk about yesterday, when we talk about this morning because it's part of the past. When we talk about last week, last month, last year, uh, five years ago, uh, when I was a child, when I was a teenager, yes? Para eso lo utilizamos, ok? Ok, okay. let's con uh, I ate choco bananos. Si ya formamos las oraciones con lo que estuvimos hablando, I ate choco bananas, I played uh, jump the rope, eh, eh, todo lo que dijimos, ¿verdad? I ate pupusas, I ate tamales yesterday. Hey, I went to the movie. For example, imagine that you went to the movie to, yeah, to, 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 to yesterday. 
at night. So, I went to the movie yesterday. Uh -huh. What else? I ate a chicken yesterday for the lunch. Yes. What else? In the case, of, in the case, remember that we were talking about drive. I drive every day. ¿Cómo sería el past? I drove. I drove. I drove. I drove. I drove. Uh -huh. drove yesterday, for example. Let's see. Another example. I saw a bear this morning. I ate bananas yesterday. I took a nap in the afternoon. I went back. I went my work. Yes, I went to work. Yes. I ran to the gym. Yes, I went to the gym. You see? I, I drove my car. I drove my car. Excellent. Okay. I called my phone with my friends. Mm -hmm. Okay, for example, if yeah. I say question. hello, a question, teacher. Mm -hmm. uh, what is the simple fast of right? Uh, the, the different the drive and right. Uh, for example, I drive my car this morning, and other example, I ride my motorcycle. I need information what is the pass of right okay in the case of the pass of oh drive is uh -huh, guys Lo no. de decir. it's present draw. 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 Pass is draw. Uh -huh. y la diferencia es que una es montar verdad <laughs> or let's say the right ah, okay can i utilize the the, the misma frase draw que si puedo utilizar el mismo verbo no es yes. eh, mejor es ride a bike and ride a motorcycle in the case of drive in the case of drive sorry we use it for vehicles cars um buses yes okay teacher thank you and the pass of ride is roll roll Roll. I roll my motorcycle, okay? Aha, uh -huh, guys, do you have any question? Any question? No, any no, no questions, right? Okay. No, no see? Questions. Hello? No. Necesito audífonos. No se no funcionan los míos. No, for me, no questions. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay, no questions. Uh, with the simple past in affirmative. What about negative, guys? What happens okay. with negative? You can use auxiliary did or do. We use the auxiliary didn't, right? In the case of the past. Uh huh, guys. Mario. Yeah, in, in the case of uh, simple past in negative, we need to use uh, did with uh, not. Did not or didn't, okay? The contractive form, excellent. Is the same, right? We just add did not or didn't. For example, the same, the same, uh, Sentences. Affirmative, I saw a bear this morning. In negative, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't study yesterday. I didn't see. En ese caso, recordemos algo, que esto es bien importante. Como ya tenemos un auxiliar que está en pasado, ¿qué quiere decir? Quiere decir que el verbo ya va a ir en base form. ¿Qué es base form? No va a ir, no va a ir pasado. Sino el verbo tal cual es porque ya el didn't me está denotando que es pasado. Y que además que pasado es negativo. Entonces, I didn't see a verb. This 
Morning. 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 Yes. So I ate eat. bananas yesterday. Negative. I. We didn't eat bananas. I didn't eat bananas. Yesterday. I didn't eat bananas yesterday. Yes. You see? Um, I didn't. What about the hello? Sorry. Sorry, sorry. Um, I didn't um go out with you yesterday. Yes, I didn't. I didn't go out with you yesterday. Excellent. You see? What about in the case of I took a nap? I took a nap. Es aquí, perdón. I didn't take a nap. Aquí va la. Sería I didn't. Take, take a, a nap. nap. Take I a didn't nap. take a nap. You see? Easy, yes. right? Okay. A little bit. <laughs> yes. Es que lo que pasa es que no nos compliquemos, ¿sí? Solo aprendámonos las reglas. Okay. Remember, simple past, we use it for when we talk about past. Como lo dice. Simple past. Okay. Uh, what else? The, the structure is subject, verb, in past form, plus complement. Yes, that, that's it. What yes. about with the negative form of the past? Mm. Simple or simple past? Subject, first the structure. Subject? Auxiliary. Auxiliary deal, plus not. Plus verb in base form. Eso acuérdese. Plus complement. ¿Ok? Eso es todo. Eso es todo lo que tenemos que acordarnos. ¿Ok? Basémonos en las reglas. Acuérdense de que en inglés y en cualquier cosa siempre hay cosas que memorizar. ¿Sí? Um, teacher, I have a question. And it's okay to say uh, I didn't do my homework. Excellent, I didn't do my homework. Okay, it's okay? Thank yes, you. I didn't do my homework. Okay. Excellent, Jose, thank you. Teacher, mm -hmm. I didn't write a report. I didn't write a report, yes. Aha, uh -huh. Matt? <laughs> okay. I didn't run. This morning? I didn't run this morning. I didn't play video games yesterday. I didn't play video games yesterday. Yesterday. Mm -hmm. What about I guys? Uh-huh. I didn't cook my lunch. I didn't cook your lunch. So you bought. You bought food, right? Okay. okay. Remember uh, that we can use more than yesterday. We can use last week, last Saturday, que sería el sábado pasado. Entonces no tengan miedo de utilizar esas frases, ¿ok? Okay. Ajá, Ajá yesterday, two days ago, hace dos días, three days ago, last week, uh -huh. last Saturday, go. last Friday. Ajá. I didn't go at church the last month, eh, Sunday. Excellent. I didn't go to the church last Sunday. Excellent, Sylvia. I didn't visit my family last month. I didn't visit. 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 Yes, yes. I didn't visit my family last month. Excellent. Thank you. Who else? Uh -huh. Who else? I didn't start working this morning. I didn't work this morning. Uh -huh. I didn't think yeah. my favorite song last month. Excellent. Excellent. Thank you, guys. Do you see? You understood. What about the others? Guys, do you have any questions so far? Okay, sure. don't worry uh, if you don't want to. I, I didn't mention it that. I didn't mention that. Teacher, we can use another auxiliary, um, like I, I 
Kure or only did it? Okay. We can use could, but remember that in the case of simple past, it's just did. When we talk about past, we can use was, were, could, yes. But in, the, in this case, we are talking about simple past. And when we use simple past, we use just did. Okay. In this case, yes. Aha, uh -huh, guys. Okay, don't worry if you see that many of you understood. Okay, don't worry about it. If you have any question, let me know. Okay. If I have to repeat the same three, four times, I will do it. Okay, don't worry about it if you don't understand. If you don't have a clear idea about it, just ask me, okay? Any question, guys? No, any questions so far? No, no so far, you. right? Maybe I did four. not. Okay, thank you. Uh, let's continue. What about, guys, what about a uh, yes, yes, no question? What about yes, no questions? Siempre utilizando simple past. Did. We use the auxiliary did. 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 If you. No, subject. 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 Verb form in present. Baseball. Plus complement plus question mark, right? You see? Deal, subject, verb, complement. ¿Recuerdan la oración que dijo Diego? <coughs> I saw, I saw a verb this morning. ¿Cómo sería la pregunta? Yes, no. Did you, did you see a verb? Did you see a verb? Mm -hmm. This morning. Oh. Excellent. Porque eso era la oración. Ajá. ¿Y la otra cuál era? Did you eat bananas yesterday? Did you eat bananas yesterday? ¿Y la otra? Did you take a nap? Did you take a nap? Excellent. My answers, yes, no, yes, I did, and no, I didn't. Cualquiera de esas pueden ser sus respuestas si están perfectas. ¿Ok? Yes. Ok. Just to finish. Um, mañana vamos a ver tomorrow. We are going to see WH questions. Ok. Let's stop here with grammar. Ok. I want you to write two sentences in affirmative, two sentences negative, and two just no question using simple past. Okay? Let's go on. And when you finish, you can read yours. Let's start working, okay? <laughs> Teacher, eh, cuando queremos este, hacer una pregunta con más complemento, como con más eh, explicaciones, se ocupa what? Eh, o... Pero mañana lo vamos a ver, Claudita, eso. Por eso les decía ah. que no vamos a quedar hasta aquí, porque ya son uh -huh. tres, ¿verdad? Ya nos quedamos uh -huh. con afirmative, negative. And just yes, no question. Mañana vamos a ver WS question, que es cuando necesitamos más información. Ah, vale. Okay. Sí. I didn't go to the supermarket yesterday. Excellent. Marcelo.
Africa. I listen to music. Okay, Jamie, uh, I listen to music. Sí, solo eso. Tú. I play video games with. Ah, uh -huh, excellent. I took a shower every day. Okay. I didn't play video games last night because I did my work. I frequently spend the last night, but I didn't have money. Excellent, Mario. Thank you. Thank you. Did you water the plants? Yes. Uh, um, is, hmm? Okay, is correct uh, are the words yet at uh, the the final sentence, the final um, uh, questions were with did or no is correct. For example, mm -hmm. um, did you do the, did you do the homework yet? No. No. The case of yet is. Lo, lo, lo utilizamos con el presente perfecto. No, ese no. O sea, porque acordémonos que, que en el caso de Jet, esa U sí. quiere decir que sigue abierto el tiempo. Y cuando utilizamos DIR, es una acción que murió. ¿Yes? ¿Sí? Así que no. Okay. Vamos a ver. I buy a new car. I bought. Pasado de buy, bought, ¿ok? My wife didn't go to work today. Excellent. I eat a hamburger in the restaurant. I sing my favorite song in my house. ¿Cuál es el pasado de sing? Mm -hmm. Sang. Sang. Oh. Ah, solo agregaremos eso. I didn't play the guitar. I didn't eat, I didn't eat pizza on the dinner. I didn't go to work on Saturday, yes. I didn't clean my house yesterday because I had to do some errands. Did you go to the supermarket last weekend? I didn't work in the weekend. I went to the beach, she didn't, but shut up. He washed, washed past. Pasado, Alejandro. I worked igual. Pasado. Agreguemos ED a los dos verbos. Y en el caso de la, de la segunda, sí. De I work every day, every single morning. Ahí sí es present, right? Pero creo que lo está haciendo con presente, entonces son los washes, washes, 
El otro es, she ate her dinner, I rode a bike, yes, excellent. Did I saw TV? Watched. So, utilicemos el, el verbo watch. Did you know, did you know what's the meaning of these words? Ajá, agreguemos K, no. I did not do my homework. I ran, I ran to the gym this morning. Did you? Did you do your homework? I played video games last night. You didn't eat lunch, your lunch. They didn't come, hmm. teacher, your name is Sofia. Tati, eso, ¿qué pasó? ¿Quieres saber mi nombre o cómo? Yeah. <laughs> Ana, Ana, Ana Díaz. Ana Díaz. Thank you. You're welcome. I didn't clean the house yesterday. Did you clean your room? Excellent. I didn't study last lesson. Excellent, Norberto. Did you work out today? Did you eat my waffles? Did you... Did they do that for you? We did not buy the house. I combed my hair in the morning. Did you play the credit card? Conde Jose. Card. Did you walk yesterday? Did you walk last Saturday? Did you song? No, did you sing? Porque como ese sí es pregunta suya para en ese caso, Ya el did nos está denotando que es pasado, ¿ok? I didn't. Ahí se comió. I didn't last order. I didn't song. Lo mismo para las segundas. Las terceras están bien en cuanto a las oraciones positivas, afirmativas. Ana is happy. I didn't my task. I didn't do, I didn't do, sería Silvita. I didn't do my task. You didn't came, no, sería come. Recuerden, cuando tenemos los auxiliares, ya sea en negativo, que es didn't, ya no ponemos en pasado el verbo. Igual para pregunta, ¿ok? Did you play video games? Uh -huh. Did you drive last week? Did you play the guitar on the on, in the opera? Okay, teacher. Uh, did I understand last lesson? I'm not, I'm not. I think, did you visit? Okay, si sería, Mario, en el caso de, did I understand the lesson? The lesson sería, en el caso si es así, pues le pone, I did or I didn't. ¿Sí? I think, did you, I think, eso está bien. Did you visit your grandma on Jan? Ok. I work in a call center. Uh -huh. Ese es present, right? Alvador, oh, he didn't or he did not live in Santa Ana. Sofía, did you listen to the song on the radio? Positive. I cried yesterday. Pasado de cry, Norberto cried. Thank you, Mario. I did buy. Okay. Pero es mejor decir I bought. I bought the sponge in the supermarket, Morena. ¿Será que terminamos? Ok, dice Marcelo, let's see. Ay, no me falta más. Did, Diana dice, did you watch Kitty Boots movie? No, I didn't. Yes, I did. Excellent. My wife didn't go to the work today. I didn't go to the supermarket yesterday. My mom didn't buy the vegetables last week. 
I play video games one month ago. My dog's broken my shoes today. I went to work last Saturday. Last Thursday, le cambio el nombre. Did you, did your mom go to work last weekend? Did you go to the beach this vacation? Did you eat bread chicken? Yes, the last holidays. Okay, excellent. Okay. So, Hello, Diego. I have a question. Uh, what was the correction that you say to the sentence of Mari? The Mari sentence? Padre Santo. But the first one, did I understand the last lesson? Padre Santo. Mario, ¿cuáles eran? ¿Cuáles son sus oraciones? Ayúdeme. Eh, eh, yes. You see something about... Sí, ese quiero ver. Diego dice, ya veo. Did I understand last lesson? No, no. Ah, esa. Yes, you say something about the first sentence, I think. Ajá, o sea que, o sea que está contestando. Oh, yes, this, uh, I'm not, I think. Ajá, entonces yo one. le decía a, a Mario que sería, did I understand last lesson? Sería, yes, I did, or no, I. Ah, oh, ok, did I did. A eso me referí, ok. Oh, ok, thank you. Thank you. Ok, guys, if you don't have any questions, see you tomorrow. And Morena, if you need some, some help with the platform, you can stay here. Just two minutes. Okay, bye bye. Good night. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you, bye bye. Bye bye. See you, teacher. See you tomorrow, guys. Bye bye. Bye, bye. bye teacher. See you tomorrow. Okay, bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. See you tomorrow, teacher. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Very good class, teacher. Okay, excellent. Thank you. Bye. See you. See you. Morena? Hi. Could you share your screen? Puede compartir su, su pantalla? Right now. Give me a second. Uh, um, uh, with a... Uh, Post assistant Zoom, correct? Ajá, compártamelo. Ajá, aquí, donde dice share screen. Ahí está. I don't know if you see my screen. Sí, 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 sí. Solo que Zoom, métase a la plataforma. Mm. Sería código meeting. No, ahí no está, creo yo, plataforma. Abajito está. Ahí está, ve. Es Ahí está. Continuar el curso. Ajá. O si no, le da clic ahí. Ahí está. ¿Cuál es el que tiene error? O, o en el first one. No sé. Um, Muéstrame. Serían las secciones. Este. ¿En cuál sería? Sección 2. Sección. No sé. No sé cuál es el error. <ríe> no sé. Lo que sucede es que yo. Ajá, yo ingresé acá. Entonces, después ingresé acá pero me daba la clase de calm and uncomfortable. Ajá. Entonces yo intenté, bueno, estaba haciendo las questions, 
la estaba llenando, pero en vez de darle continue o next, le di eh, enviar. Ajá. Entonces, ahora solo me aparecen estas preguntas. Si you use, no sé, ingreso acá. No, solo estas preguntas me aparecen. Entonces, yo lo que quiero saber es que no hay inconveniente de que yo haya terminado hasta, porque solo respondí como tres preguntas, no sé cuántas son en realidad, y le di enviar. ¿Pero de cuál sección es? De la 1. Ahora me aparece en la sección 2 del... Me aparece en otro tema, ya no me aparece el primero. Ya no me aparece el Contable en Contable. Ahora me aparece el Quantity en No Quantity. Pero no sé cómo, no sé, no sé cómo regresar en lo que, lo que le menciono, que no le puedo presentar porque no, ya no me aparece el tema. No sé si estoy usando correctamente también la página. ¿Va a meterse? Ay, me salí, ¿verdad? Sí. Ay, sorry. Los nervios. Atrás le hubiera dado. Mira que estoy bien lento con esta cuestión, no sé por qué razón. Vaya. Vaya, entonces ese ahorita check, pues ese check que le aparece ahí que es el, 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 el azul este Ajá. marcar esta página ah. es una marca de página se puede quitar eso o lo quito no 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 pero no hay problema pero Ajá, no le entiendo qué es lo que usted quiere o sea no le veo estas son ah, estas son las las lecciones que yo voy a estar viendo en YouTube correcto Después de las lecciones de YouTube, me salen unas preguntas. Ajá. Entonces me salió una pregunta, dos preguntas, tres preguntas. Entonces yo le di enviar, como terminar y enviar. Pero la, me parecía una opción que era siguiente. Entonces yo terminé en la tercera pregunta. Entonces yo quise regresar a ese tema, pero ya no me apareció. En ese caso, Morena, sí, se, o sea, sí, sí es de hacer eso, pero usted tiene que... O sea, digamos por decirlo así, su prioridad es terminar donde están los lapicitos. ¿Sí? Y de Ajá. acuerdo, o sea, para, para ser específica, donde están los knowledge check, esos, y luego de eso, cuando usted ya termine, va a ir viendo su progreso acá arriba, en, sí. la, en la izquierda, arriba, ve su progreso. Si eso no le afecta en cuanto a su puntaje, no se preocupe, ¿ok? Sí, mire, yo vi este progreso y no sé si está mal, a estar mal porque 2% veo. Entonces, este, eso me, me chico palo un poco. No, lo que pasa es que va, por ejemplo, no, ahí déjeme la, déjeme la. Va porque dice, no, es ahí déjela. Porque dice de que, por ejemplo, de la sección 1 no ha hecho nada. Sí. Entonces, imagínese. No la ha trabajado. Se no pero se eso, pero así, así es el proceso para ir trabajando. No se preocupe. Ingresar. Es que no se preocupe. Okay. Le va a salir el 100% hasta que termine el examen final, las cinco secciones. Es bastante. Ok. Ajá. O vaya, sea, vaya. Digamos, vaya en orden. Llene primero la sección 1, vaya llenándolo. Los, los okay. lapicitos, los knowledge check, eso vaya llenándolos. Esa es su tarea. Eso es lo que le aparece. Okay. Exacto. Entonces, tres vaya, preguntas. Sí, cuando usted vaya terminando, incluso si va, por ejemplo, la primera. Choose the best response to this question. Did she play soccer in high school? ¿Cuál sería? Ah, ok. Ah, pues sí. estoy más tranquila. Discúlpeme, pero no, sí. No, no, no se preocupe. Estoy para servirle, pero, pero no. O sea, tiene que ir trabajando. Los knowledge check, después de eso, termina la sección 1, se va al progreso para ver si tiene el 100% en esa sección. Ah, ok. Su porcentaje ah, okay. Va, a ser, Entonces, va a ser el total hasta que terminemos las cinco secciones, que sería el examen final, ¿ok? Ah, ok. Va, está bien. Entonces, muchas gracias. Para servirle, Morena. Bye. See you. Bueno, buenas noches. See you. Night.